Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, the elf, and Santa. I'm wearing a Christmas dress. <laughs> and I have Christmas glasses and a Christmas hat and a Christmas tree and the Grinch. I'm so happy. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Today, I am doing a Christmas tag. This is one I put together myself. I looked it up. I looked up a bunch of Christmas tags and just kind of mooshed them all together. I thought it would be fun, since it's Christmas season, to just uh, answer some question, Chris, Chris, Christmas questions and then tag some people. I have, <laughs> I have bells on my head and they're jingly. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm too excited. Anyways, I'm gonna tag, um, I'm gonna tag Terry from Your Joy Podcast and I'm gonna tag, who else? Uh, I didn't think about this beforehand. <laughs> I'm gonna tag Jennifer from Jedi Dragoon Creations makes. I can't remember the last word. And uh, anyone else, if anyone else wants to answer these questions, they will be in the description box below this video. You feel free to copy and paste them into the comments with your answers or over on the Facebook group with your answers. I love reading people's answers to stuff like this. It's so fun. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get into it. I think there's 20. So number one, <laughs> what is your favorite Christmas movie? Oh gosh. I love every Christmas movie, pretty much known to man, because <laughs> I'm a Christmas person, as if you can tell. <laughs> uh, but I think my favorite one is actually one that a lot of people don't like, and my favorite movie that I love watching every year, all year long, I don't just watch it at Christmas time, but it's Christmas with the Cranks. I uh, absolutely love that movie, and I think it's because uh, me and Devin always talk about one of these years when, Devin, when Jesse is grown and off doing his own thing, that we want to spend Christmas in Hawaii, just the two of us, you know, and have like a uh, tropical... Christmas <laughs> and so that kind of reminds me of that because in that movie they're gonna they're planning on going on a cruise and then their daughter's coming home and so they have to like, throw everything together super quick and it's just funny because uh Tim Allen is hilarious and Dan Aykroyd's in it and he's hilarious and Jamie Lee Curtis is perfect you know I love her and everything so um I love that movie a lot of people don't love it for some reason but I think it's hilarious and it's a good movie and it ends nice but I love every Christmas movie. We watch um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation all the time. The Home Alone movies, the first two, the, the original two are the good ones. Uh, all the animated cartoons of Frosty and the Grinches, the old one and the new one that came out in 2018, I think. And uh, the Jim Carrey Grinch, just all of them. We love all of them. Polar Express and uh, yeah, just all of them. <laughs> Number two, are you on the naughty list or the nice list? Well. I personally think that I've been a good person this year. I don't, I've, I've, I've been nice, I think. But I guess it depends on who you ask. <laughs> but you know, me per personally, I'm going to say I'm on the nice list, I think. Because I know there's at least one present over there for me. So I did something right. <laughs> All right, number three, use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. Okay, my noise is, <coughs> that's my noise, that's my noise. <coughs> that's my noise. <laughs> I'm always excited for Christmas. Um, I always have been. I've always been a Christmas person. I don't, I don't know if you can tell that or not. I mean, I have three Christmas dresses, not just this cute Santa one. And you know what was even better about these Christmas dresses? They were thrifted. I only paid like $3 for these and they're adorable. This one's got Santa all over it. Uh, I have one with candy canes and one with like Christmas trees and presents. But uh, yeah, I've always been excited for Christmas. I always count it down and I just... I love it even if I don't get a bunch of presents or if I can't give a lot of presents. It's just the season's fun. I love how people out in the world are just nicer this time of year, it seems, and it's just Christmas is the best. <laughs> Plus, uh, I am religious, so um, that adds a lot of greatness to it, too, of course. But uh, I know a lot of people who celebrate Christmas aren't uh, Christian, and that's perfectly fine. And uh, I know there's a lot of awesome other holidays around this time. There's Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, uh, Winter Solstice slash Yule. I'm not exactly sure what it's actually called <laughs> and probably a bunch of other ones I don't even know about but um it's just the the season the holiday season every holiday is just so much funner it seems because everybody's just so nice and happy and cheerful <laughs> and I love it anyways okay what number was that number four have I ever had a white Christmas as far as I can remember we have not I live in middle Tennessee we do get snow maybe once a year it's usually in like February that we get snow uh, usually around Valentine's Day. We did get snow here two weeks ago. Beginning, it was, oh, it was December 1st. It was the very first day of December. Um, we got snow. We got like two or three inches. That was great. It only lasted a day, but it was nice. Last year, and then earlier this year, I think in March, we got some snow. 
and then last year it snowed on Halloween night. That was not fun because we were trying to trick or treat, you know, it was pre-COVID and uh, it was snowing and sleeting and that wasn't fun, but it was still pretty. <laughs> but we don't, we don't typically have snow on Christmas. It's normally in the 60s around here in Christmas. This year it looks like it's going to be in the 50s, so it might be a little chilly. <laughs> so we might have a chilly Christmas, but um, I doubt there'll be any snow. I would love to have a a white Christmas. Uh, me and Devin's talked about going probably when Jesse's a little bit older. We could go to like Colorado or somewhere and spend a couple weeks around Christmas to where it's pretty and snowy and we can be out in the mountains in like a cabin. I think that'd be so fun. But uh, we've never, as far as I know, maybe when I was a little kid, but I don't remember it. But as far as I know, we've never had a white Christmas here. <laughs> and it kind of sucks, but I mean, Christmas is fun. Anyways, and we do want to spend a tropical Christmas one of these years, so that'll be no white at all, unless it's white sands. <laughs> okay, number five. Do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait until last minute? Neither. <laughs> I Christmas shop all year long. But our goal is always be done Christmas shopping before Halloween. And we usually hit that goal. Um, we were a little late this year. It, it went into November a little bit, but that was just because uh, of money issues because <laughs> of Devin missing work for medical reasons. But also we do random little Christmas shopping, usually for Jesse, up to Christmas. You know, if, if I'm at a store and I see a little toy, I want to give him my do candy for his um, stocking and all that. Or the Avid thing that's hanging over here. But yeah, we normally, our goal is normally to have Christmas done for like other people like our you know the family and everything uh before halloween just so that thanksgiving and christmas isn't stressful for us and we usually do a good job at doing that <laughs> let's see here number six if you could be in any christmas movie what would it be hmm that's hard elf would be fun because it'd be fun to be friends with buddy <laughs> uh running around doing shenanigans with him mm. I don't think I'd want to be in Home Alone because I would probably get hurt. <laughs> uh, Polar Express would be amazing. It'd be so cool to ride the train and hot, hot, hot chocolate and uh, go to the North Pole and all that. That would be so fun. <laughs> um, I want to do the Polar Express train ride soon. We were going to do it this year and we had to cancel it because of COVID. And I've been talking about it every year and then we finally were like reserved our tickets and everything and then we had to cancel it because of coronavirus. But oh well, we'll do it another year. It's gonna be so fun to wear pajamas and drink hot chocolate on a train, an actual train. <laughs> okay, yeah, so probably Polar Express or Elf. Let me scroll down. I skipped number seven. I'm just realizing that on my list. So there might be 19 questions because it goes from six to eight. So number eight, seven, eight, <laughs> is name all of Santa's reindeer. Okay, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid. Donner slash Donder, depending on what book you're reading. <laughs> the original book says Donder with a D. Everyone else says Donner. Blitzen, and then Rudolph. <laughs> but uh, the Donder and Donner always confused me because in a lot of the movies, it's Donner, D-O-N-N-E-R. It's even, they, there's even a movie called Donner. <laughs> but in the old original book, the one that we have at least, it says Donder, D-O-N-D-E-R. Um, I think it's how it's spelled. So I'm not sure which one's right. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I guess they both apply. But that's them, as far as I know. I met one of the deers. Me and Jesse did last year. Or 2018. I think it was Dasher. It was at the train station. I can't remember now, but it's an old vlog. <laughs> that was fun. It was an actual reindeer, so that was cool. Alright. Number nine. When does your family put up the Christmas tree and who decorates it? Okay, we put ours up usually... On Halloween night <laughs> when we get back from uh, all of our Halloween festivities and if we don't get around to doing it that night we do it the next day um, just because we love celebrating Christmas longer <laughs> and uh, that's like my Halloween decorations my Halloween decorations go up on September 1st <laughs> so um, so that we can celebrate the holidays better you know longer because we, we love them but yeah and we all decorate it all three of us together we usually record it too uh, I don't always share it on the vlogs, but I do keep it as a home video of us just decorating the tree, and it's just fun, you know, especially with Jesse growing so much, it's fun to see how he's uh, helped a lot <laughs> over the years to decorate. All right. Uh, number 10, is our tree real or fake? They are both fake. I have two. There's a green one over there and a white one right here. <laughs> we wanted to get a real tree this year, but they were already sold out. Um, we've never had a real tree. I had a few when I was a kid. But we've never, as a family here, never had it. 
and um, I feel like the fake trees are just easier because the real trees, you know, you have to keep them watered and then they like, they shed really bad. They, they drop their needles or whatever. So I'll probably just keep plastic ones. <laughs> and when we get a house in the future, we're going to have a ton of trees because, I mean, we already have two. And I want trees in every room and I want different size trees to decorate with. And um, I hope we get a yard with trees outside, real ones, because it'd be so fun to um, decorate them. But yeah, so we have fake trees. Uh, number 12, peeking at the gifts or being surprised? Mm -hmm. I don't peek. <laughs> I want to really bad. That's like the rest of my advent gifts that's in there. I want to open them so badly, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait. <laughs> and uh, I love being surprised. That's, that's half the fun of getting a gift is being surprised and waiting for it, you know. So I'll uh, be surprised. Number 13, what holiday tra traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Um, well... I was looking forward to our parade. It's it's actually today, but it's set up weird. It's actually, it's called a reverse parade. All the parade floats are parked in our middle school's parking lot. <laughs> and our cars are supposed to drive through and see them. And I'm, I don't know if we're going to go to it. It's at 2 and it's it's almost 12 now. So, uh, we might go to it. I don't know. It'd be fun, but it's raining, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a new experience. It's weird. This year's been weird. But the parade's always fun. And going to a place near us, a park called Hidden Hollow. It's a park out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and they put up tons of lights. And you can drive through it. It's a drive through thing. And then normally you could park and get out and walk around. I don't know if they're letting people do that this year or not. And we usually go to um, the Dancing Lights, which is in Lebanon, Tennessee. And it's another drive through thing. And it's, mu it's lights that move around to the music. It's really cool. We haven't done that yet this year. And I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze it in. But we might try stuff like that and of course uh christmas eve with my family we always spend christmas eve with my family and then christmas day we usually with devin's family <laughs> so and or morning we're here by ourselves as a family during our christmas and then we go over to his dad's house later in the day and uh it's just you know all that kind of stuff is always fun making cookies is a tradition we do making ornaments is a tradition we do it's just all that stuff's fun <laughs> okay what next where am i number 14 if you could be under the mistletoe with anyone who would it be my husband, of course. <laughs> yes, my husband. But if I wasn't married and I was single um, and I could pick a, like a celebrity to be under the mistletoe with, it would probably be probably Keanu Reeves. He's a really beautiful guy. <laughs> and, and or, or, not and, not both of them, or Johnny Depp. But, you know, I'm married, and I love my husband more than anything in the world. So, my husband, Devin, of course. Or my, De my Jesse. I can just kiss his little face all day long. <laughs> um, number 15. Does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help make? Um, hmm. We don't have any, like, secret family recipes. But I do make Christmas chocolate bark every year. Super easy. I made Hall or Thanksgiving chocolate bark <laughs> for Thanksgiving. And all it is is just chocolate with uh, pretzels in it and then I usually put sprinkles or different color chocolate on top as you drizzle. You split, you know, a lot of times it has nuts and stuff in the um, chocolate, but I, I never put nuts in it because my brother is allergic to peanuts, so I always just use pretzels. And it's usually very popular, everyone loves it. And I always make cookies every year. <laughs> um, I usually make uh, peanut butter cookies, the ones with little kisses on them, or sugar cookies. This year we made gingerbread cookies and um, we're, we're planning on making sugar cookies uh, soon <laughs> and i'd like to make some salt dough salt dough dough <laughs> what can i talk ornaments um but that's not food so i guess that doesn't count <laughs> all right uh have you ever gone caroling yes i have my mom used to do caroling all the time uh, back when we were kids she was like the sunday school teacher at our church and so she was in charge of that so she made us carol all the time at church which you know as kids we didn't like it but as we got older, I did like it. I haven't been caroling in years. I can't sing at all, but I do sing all the time. <laughs> I really feel sorry for my neighbors because I'm sure they hear me. But um, I carol all the time. And I sing and listen to Christmas music all year long. Um, it probably annoys a lot of people, but Devin's used to it. <laughs> He's used to my crazy. And it's it's Christmas. I think about Christmas all year long. I plan for it, you know, all year. So um, I'm just a caroling type person. <laughs> all right. Number 17, what tops your tree? Well... Our green tree has a star that lights up. Our white tree, we never put a topper on. I don't know why. We just never got a topper for it. We did this year when we got the green tree, we, went, we got a topper for it, a light up one. But we used stars. Uh, my mom always used the angels growing up. 
but I just I thought the star went with the decorations we picked out and uh, this white one this is our like mixed up tree this has got all our special ornaments on it the ones Jesse made the ones that people's gifted me the ones I made <laughs> and the ones that we bought as a family and then the other tree we decorated it with just baubles and garland just to make it look pretty so yeah that's the difference I guess if we ever had a special tree topper we'd put it on there Number 18, what is your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song ever. And if it comes on when I'm at a craft fair or a store, I'm gonna spend all my money because it gets me in the happiest mood ever is, it's the most wonderful time of the year. That song right there, that gets me in the buying mood. If I'm at a craft fair during the Christmas season and that song comes on, I wanna buy everything, everything. Just give it to me. <laughs> Cause that song gets me in the happy mood of wanting to buy stuff. Uh, also my favorite like religious one is Oh Holy Night. I absolutely love that, especially when a choir sings it. It's my favorite song, but it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's my favorite, in general, Christmas song. Number 19, what is your all-time favorite holiday food slash sweet treat? Um, hmm, we don't have like special Christmassy foods. My mom does make sausage balls every year, which is like sausage and cheese that's been baked. Those are delicious with gravy. Mm. My sister always makes rotel dip, so that's always good. And then I make bark. <laughs> but usually we have like almost a Thanksgiving-ish dinner for Christmas. Just for the, instead of a turkey, it's usually a ham. So, um, ham is good. <laughs> oh, and hot chocolate. But I do drink hot chocolate all year round, so I guess that doesn't count either. <laughs> Alright, and the last one, which is number 20, but it's actually number 19 because I skipped number 7. But that's okay. Is what would you, uh, what, 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 I messed up. <laughs> what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? Well, like I said, we want to go to Hawaii one of these years uh, and do that. But right now, as a family, I think it would be somewhere that's cold, like like Colorado or somewhere else that snows a lot. I don't even know. <laughs> and um, staying at like a cabin where it's snowing and us with our presents already, that would be fun. We were going to spend Christmas, the week of Christmas in Gatlinburg this year. But again, and we already had that reserved and everything. I was looking so forward to that. We had to cancel it because of COVID. And, um, I mean, we probably could have still went, but we canceled it early this year when it was still, you know, everybody was still super scared of everything, didn't know what was going to happen. So we went ahead and canceled it. And, um, but oh well, I mean, there's always next year, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to just visit somewhere with my boys that's snowy and we go, uh, go out and sled and stuff and then come back into a warm fire lit place and eat some good food and open our presents. I think it'll be so fun. But yeah, so that's the Christmas tag. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else would be as holly and jolly as I am, but um, I love Christmas and I needed an excuse to wear my Christmas dress. <laughs> and uh, so I did tag, uh, who did I tag? I don't forgot, uh, Terry and Jennifer and anyone else who wants to do it. <laughs> Go ahead and do it and leave it in the comments below or leave it on the Facebook group because I would love to read it. I love, especially the tradition ones because it'd be fun to see what other people do. But uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.